Greetings Madhouse, my name is JK Tiger and today I'll be playing the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. And I actually found this purely by accident. I was in the process of installing the other episodes of Life is Strange 2 and I was actually in the process of, you know, setting up to play Chapter 2 of Life is Strange 2 when this, this sort of came in the sort of, it was almost like it was recommended and obviously it was intentional. And at first I didn't really... I didn't know why it just popped up. I don't I don't know why it was there until I saw that it was actually linked to Life is Strange 2. And without giving too much away for myself and without spoiling what this is and how it ties in, I kind of had to look into it and sort of see what it was. I didn't really see an awful lot. I, I didn't know how this this sort of ties in. Um and I didn't know when I should play this because when I when I sort of did my small amount of research uh, there were some people who were saying you should play it before Life is Strange 2, you could play it after, you, you don't even need to play it at all if you don't want to but then I saw somewhere that it was actually advised to either play it before I think before Life is Strange 2, which obviously we can't do now or specifically before you start chapter two. Conveniently, I found this just before I, I was setting up to uh, play chapter two of Life is Strange 2. So this is the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. I don't know, again, although I, I sort of looked into this game, I didn't actually know what, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know how it ties into the story with, with Daniel. And Sean, I don't know whereabouts this is. I have no idea how this is, this is, how this is, or, or what this is. But we're gonna find out. So this is the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. New game. Would you like to enable subtitles? The setting. Yes, we can. For those who need subtitles in the comment section or just watching this video, you know. And as always. Beautiful scenery, as to be expected from a Life is Strange styled game. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you. And as always, but very I'm cool music. What was that? Are they birds? I'm assuming they're birds. It's either and that or some sort of evil spirit of some sort. This is Captain. Who is Captain Spirit? Somewhere I don't know. In the desert, there's a Captain Spirit, apparently. <laughs> Speak of the devil. What is this planet? I don't know. We've never been here before. Power Bear! Maybe I recognize we're on Power Bear. The universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. Captain we have to get Spirit, back to I the presume. Ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. This is where we come in. <laughs> Is this all just in his imagination, or is this actually happening? What the fuck is this? Yay! <laughs> Get leave! Yeah! <laughs> For... I'm so it's gullible. <laughs> no, it's just me, Captain Spirit. I can bend all matter to his will. Oh, for God's sake, I man. I still got the power. 
actually had me fooled. I can't believe that. I can't believe that, man. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Yep. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Mask or a helmet? Mm. Let's, uh, nah, a helmet? Mm. Actually, you know, I was going to say mm. Dr. Fate has a helmet, actually, and he looks kind of cool. Uh, we'll go, we'll go mask. We'll go mask, sure. Why not? Why not? Yep, looks cool so far. Oh, wait, Let's is it? See. Oh, okay. What about the armor? When it said mask, I just imagined a full mask, and I then kind of realized the typical superhero mask is like the eye hmm. mask, you know what I mean? Light armor, heavy armor. Light armor means that you are protected, but also, yeah, let's go. Why am I thinking too hard on this, man? <laughs> what well, is the thing? Life is Strange sometimes, you know, if, if I've learned anything from Life is Strange is that you need to actually take into consideration what you pick. So this so might matter cool. somehow. Should he yeah. be dark or colorful? Mm, I would pick dark, so I'm just going to go dark. That's what I pick. Oh. So maybe he'd, he'd have an alliance with Power Bear or something, you know? Beware, Mantroid. Whoa, Watch out. yeah. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Captain Spirit's a badass, dude. Nice. I remember that as a kid, drawing superheroes and shit. Fucking love that. Oh, but just drops the sickest graffiti. <laughs> just, oh, man. This is, I like that. Oh, once again, very cool. Hello, very, that Saturday could... morning. I can do anything I want today. Yeah, that feeling on a Saturday morning. It was it was so much more cooler as a kid, mm. just waking up thinking I could literally I could do, do a, a training million session and one with my things. Power. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Uh, read this. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, Superman. Ah. How to draw superheroes. Very cool. So my name is Chris. Very cool. Henry. Sorry. You're too cute to fight evil. True. He do be looking adorable. Uh, secret map. The What's secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Oh. Uh, what is this? Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. This is true. And they... Does he have cannons where his nipple should be? He has nipple cannons. Nip cannons. What the fuck? <laughs> this kid's imagination, man. These kids are crazy out here, so you know what I mean? So glad I did my hang with homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Oh, cool. Uh, there's the drawing. Tattoo? What? It is time oh. for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Yeah, are we not going to put it on? I used to love those. I remember specifically Man, getting them in like bags of Cheetos that. as a kid. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. And I remember also getting these little holographic discs. You know the ones that you sort of move side to side and the picture changes slightly? And then just going... <laughs> making that kind of DJ noise. Like they're... You know, scratch pad noise. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. Uh, what's this guy? Are you ready for the ultimate battle? Of oh, good versus evil. it's Nip Cannon guy. He has an eye belt. What the fuck? All right, yeah, let's give this a go. You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroid is my leader. And he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. 
Join our team? You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? Oh, makes a very strong... What's your apology? Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Man, this could get emotional, dude. The, s the plot thickens. I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. Oh, he didn't even listen. He was just like, fuck your apology, man. Ooh. Oh, he gets beat anyways. You could have joined the team and been saved. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Has he got fingers Captain for legs? Spirit. <laughs> Spirit. That's a very peculiar Please, character design. Aid. I can't defeat Nocturus on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit. Release him? Destroy him. Oh. Release him. I don't know why Release he didn't let me bear. destroy him. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Yeah, he could have rocked your shit, nipple cannons. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. All right, let's just go explore some stuff now. I think. Chris, breakfast. Ooh, breakfast time. Oh, I didn't even get to reply. I just went straight out the door. What's for brekkie, mate? Well, this is a first. I didn't have to tell you twice. The food smells good. I know how to work the ref. I think the eggs turned out all right. Well, salt is a secret. Uh, you let me know. Is it bacon? Pour yourself some milk, okay? Because I love me some bacon. And some OJ? Mm Nice. Milk nice. I was so worried that he was just going to hand it to him and be like, don't, don't mess around. Breakfast of champions. Nice. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggies. Ooh. Oh. I'm assuming they're not energy drinks. What'd you expect? A waffle? Mmm. Maybe not I like mums. Judging by her absence, I don't think it's... It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm going to watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you could be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Plan for today? You're drinking. Um, let's just go plan for today. Because I get the so feeling that's what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Like Deadpool. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? I don't know how to respond to that. Um, I guess how they... No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. 
What happens here? So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year. Mm. Huh? Nah, Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just wanna watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Ah, that's a pinky promise. You can't break that. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Jesus Christ, man. Oof. As always, with these kind of games, the Life is Strange kind of style games, you're, you're sort of feeling like, oh, this is a wholesome game, and then shit like this happens, and you're kind of reminded of, um, I guess, like the dark side of these games. Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? Awesome things to do. Uh, I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. Uh, what is that? Hmm, I can practice my target practice skills on these dangerous beer cans. Uh, my superhero team is strong, but I can keep my eyes on Mantroid. Uh, I could play Mustard. Nah, let's make the superhero costume, man. Uh, where would I go to make the superhero costume? What is this? Boring. Uh, face more protests and shooting death. Uh, oh, Seattle. Oh, shit. This is going to be about um, their dad, isn't it? Small riots and protests have continued to amount one month after the unexplained death of a local man and a police officer. And so the police officer did die, but it didn't say that Brett died. So I'm assuming he just he just sustained some injuries, maybe. Uh, not been released, but sources say the man appears to have been shot by the officer while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. Crazy man. Okay. Um. Turn on. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, this is probably where we'll get the add to washing machine. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. I might as well just add them to now the washing machine. Now you will learn your lesson here. and stay clean. Uh, wait, do I need to turn it on? Oh, okay, wash. I hope I set this right. Well, only one way to find out. Come on, don't be afraid. Basement. Go in there and turn on the heat. But first, put on your magic cape. Where's your magic cape? I'm assuming it's in your room. Oh, oh that's nice, oh, Chris. You're better than a housekeeper. Yeah. So that's for a race. Yep. <laughs> uh, cape, 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 cape. Oh, he has an advent cal- Oh, very cool. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. This cape is only for Captain Spirit. Why can't I... Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Why can't I wear it? Are you serious? What's going on? Uh, advent calendar. Ooh. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Who's Claire? Sure. 
Gotta fucking Jeez, love these. Good job, chocolate hog. Oops. Well, I mean, you know, if you've already woken up and eaten the chocolate, then that's on you, man. That's on you. Um, I'm trying to find ooh, weapons. Damn, Captain Spear doesn't need weapons. But just in case. I was going to say, but I'll keep them around anyways. Where? So uh, I can't, I can't, what is, is that? Is that can? Oh, I thought it said candle. It's his console. My bad. So why the fuck does he have a, ca a candle in his room? Dad's room. Um. So I'm assuming. Jesus Christ. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. Ah. <sighs> That's tough, man. And the beer cans by the bed. At least he's got his drawing, I guess. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Ah, uh, look. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Damn. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Well, yeah, and also you're a child. So <laughs> there's, there's that too, you know. Locked. I wonder what Dad keeps in here. I'm curious now, given we know like his habits and stuff. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Nonsense. I don't know how old you are, but you know, what is that? What, what? I've never seen dad get that mad. It really scares me. Yeah. There, there's already, there's, there's a dark sort of under, undertone to this game, you know? Um, stickers on the toilet, nice. Razor, uh, faucet, mirror, interview? What? <laughs> Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We'll forgive them. I'll crush Mantroid. Yeah, we'll crush him, man. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job, and that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents? Me? My parents, sure. My parents are my biggest heroes. We could have gone for the egotistical I route. Bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W H E R O News. Isn't the good team like a matter of perspective? Like, you know, good as in they're just good at being evil or something, or good as in they're just good at kicking Ooh, ass. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Yeah, why not? Can we not take that? Can we? Is it not? Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. And that is how you shoot the ball. I'm assuming we just have to find. On fire all night. Shit. Oh, so he was a basketball player, maybe. Okay. Car keys. Oh, yeah. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Yeah, cool. We're not gonna do that. Open and close your inventory with this, okay. Okay. We'll Damn, you're on fire. What is that? Shoot, Dad. Nah, 
we're not gonna do that. Given his, he's he's like clearly got anger issues. We're not gonna do that because I don't want this kid to get like his ass handed to him at any point. Do I put the keys in the fucking thing? I don't I could think pick I will. Up all the beer cans so we could recycle. I don't like the idea of him potentially driving. You know, because that won't be good. Oh. Hey, can you get that? Yeah, ask fucking nicely. Chill out, man. Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek. And I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Yeah, I don't like the dad. Immediately don't like him. His his anger issues are just... No. Not it, man. Not it at all. What is this? I've never seen a beaver around here. <laughs> never seen a beaver around here? <laughs> the way he said that was actually jokes. I don't know why. It was so funny. I ain't never seen a beaver around here. So, what do I- Oh, wash dishes? Cool. I don't know. The little symbol is like, it appears, and I can't interact with it, so oh, I'm guessing- man. this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Oh. I'm guessing I just need. Nice. Yeah, the more he's drinking, the more. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I was just looking. I just literally. I was just like, how do I interact with shit? It's not told me. I'm, well, unless it has, and I've just, like, as always, overlooked. Whoa! Okay, so part one the to the costume. At least I don't have to use any needles. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Is that fucking snowman bleeding? What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on, wait. Oh, that's a I cool can't one. wait to go back inside the flying fortress. Yeah, do it, man. Also, is that snowman bleeding? Yeah, I didn't fully... I, I was just kind of wandering around. I was like, am I missing something? I'm pretty sure I didn't see... The, the the instructions on what to do, but playtime all the time. Very cool. I like that. Nice. Finally got his cape. I can yeah. feel that energy flow through me. I have the power. And then the makeup wasn't there. Makeup in okay. the um. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Apply. The makeup. No one will guess my secret identity now. Cool. Very cool, my dudes. All right, now. One more piece, and I'm almost done. One more piece? What was the one more piece? I love the sound of crackling fire. Goodbye, log. Damn. I bet that's cozy when it's, like, really chilly. You know what I mean? Like, really cold. It's obviously a horrible situation to, like, lose one of your parents. And, you know, especially if, if you're, you know, like, in, in the dad situation. But to, to drink and then I'm assuming the bruises were caused by him. 
There's no fucking excuse. If that's if this is where this is going, I don't know because it sounded like he was he was trying to get him to cover for him. If that's where it's going, fuck this guy. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You never put your kid through that ever. That's no fucking excuse. You get a fucking grip. You get your shit together and you fucking be a, a role model. You don't do that fucking shit. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Oh, I see. We found it. It took me ages. I was wondering the house just like, what? How? Yes. Ooh. This will totally protect me from mantroid. So that's My everything. My shoe is almost right? ready. After I get some paint. No, we ain't gonna steal a cigarette. You're a child. Oh. This is a basement. This is cool, man. I think I'm not alone. Do I want to go up to that thing? What do I know? I'm assuming yes. Mantoid? Or Mantroid? Or whatever it is? Hey, Manty! Baby! How's it go? You can do it, Captain Spirit. Red light, green light? How do I fucking... Oh no, the water eater hates to be woken up. Careful. This is cool, man. This is a very... I like this. Hard. I nice. tamed the water beast. You hey, Dad, did. The water heater was yes, down again, dunk. so I fixed it. I don't know what he was. Okay, cool. All right, I could play Mustard Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. Okay, so where is Dad's phone? Oh, burn the stove or burn the fire? Burn yeah, the <laughs> oh, that's sick. Uh, is that his phone? No, that's not his phone. That's a remote of some sorts. Hey, what you what? What are you watching here, buddy? No, no, no! Oh, okay. He doesn't respond. Fair enough. That's fine. What is this magazine? Don't worry, people. Suck. Captain Spirit Whoa. will always protect you. Where is his... How stupid are you? How can you not ah. score here? Oops. Oh, what is this? Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs in needs at his fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. 
We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of a bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. He's definitely an alcoholic, for sure. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool. But no way I'm ever leaving Dad. Ah. <sighs> He's not going to understand. I don't think maybe we're not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want to think of, uh, want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for both. Here for you both always, Peter. Definitely not overstepping in any way. I think that's that was that was beautifully worded, to be honest with you. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party too. Oh shit. I'm gonna fuck it up. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? There's my hot dog man. Hot dog man. Okay. I can't see dad selling homes. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek field officers have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problems or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by this email or during office hours, blah, 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 blah. Oh, those are Dad's pages. The, the picture to the right was... I, I couldn't make it out what it was, so when he said Dad's pages, I was just kind of like... You know what I mean? Just, I don't know. Whatever. Hot dog. Want to play with a hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid cupboard with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard? What? Wait, is it numbers or is it letters? Because, okay, that was confusing. So, hey buddy, can you bring me a beer? Uh, you drank a lot. You drank a lot. You already drank a lot of beer. Thanks, bartender. Now get me the goddamn beer, okay? <sighs> okay, okay. That's right. It's okay. Piece of fucking shit, man. Piece of absolute fucking shit. Ugh. Uh, trash? Oh, do I... Just a new one or something? I don't fucking know. Spit in it, man. <laughs> Poor Chris, kid. Didn't I ask for a beer? Like... This fucking guy, man. Now that's a nice cold one. Cheers. Don't cheers your kid, you fucking piece of shit. Man, that was fast, Dad. Well, excuse me. Okay, I'll slow down, Chris. This empty can is evil. Would Captain Spirit take care of it? Really? Yeah? Step aside, Mr. Erickson. Captain Spirit is here to recycle. Hey, <laughs> you better hurry. This can's gonna destroy the town. Mm. Man, that was too close. Thanks, Captain Spirit. You Mom can't dip from being victory. a fucking alcoholic piece of shit to just being... Fuck you, man. This this guy, man. This guy's an absolute fucking scumbag. I shit you not. I have been looking through everything 
on the computer, on letters and stuff, on on everything around the house, thinking that it's going to be something very important, thinking that the code is going to be something uh, important, like like a fucking anniversary date or 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 his his kid's name. I typed in I typed in his name. No, typed in his own name. No. I end. I. I. I don't do this often, or ever, if anything. I had to Google what it was because I. I was wasting so much time looking for what should be obvious. Yes, I can hack any system. Hot dog. So cool. Here's my hot dog, man. I mean, the only obvious sign is that you go on the computer and it's the hot dog, but this is the pin to the man's fucking phone. Whatever, man. Let's just play the fucking stupid game. Fuck. Okay. Oh shit, I went too high. Ah, I'm running out of mustard. I'm running out of mustard over here. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Barbecue. Damn it. Okay, let's try that again. Fuck. I might you know what? I, I reckon I'd be doing good at this if I got it like a lot easier and I didn't spend half an hour fucking searching for obscure fucking pin code solutions. Jesus Christ, I'm so upset about that. Maybe it's just me. But that was that was annoying, man. It goes too high. I'm barely even pushing the fucking thing, man. Oh, you no. son of a bitch! You have to really, you have to really fucking. Okay, here we go. Nice. Oh, this is where it fucked me up before. Uh, whoa. It's a fucking toiki. Oh, suck. give me a break. 256. I need to beat that score. I need to 100% beat that score. Alright, alright. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I would have had more points had I have not messed it up. Yep, no. Ooh. This is the furthest I've been, I think. <gasps> oh my god, no! Fucking turkey! God fucking damn it! Oh my god, I'm like an addict now. What the fuck? <laughs> no, not the barbecue again. No, 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 not the turkey. I will fucking beat this game. I swear to fucking god I will. I will beat the high score. I will beat the high score. I will, I will, I will. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at the screen. I'm not even gonna look at the screen. Why would I look at the screen? I'm gonna absolutely, oh my god. Ah! No, 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 no! Oh my god, I'm doing amazing! I'm amazing! I'm amazing! Oh my god, I fucking mustard! I fucking hate this game! What's the high score again? I gotta be close. I'm not even looking at this. I can't even tell. At this point, I can't even tell. Oh my god, no! Fuck! I suck. God. Oh, wait. I beat the high score. That's gotta be it, right? Dude, I. <laughs> the noises I made were probably not even. I would love to see Hot Dog Man team up with Captain Spirit. Did I do it? I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Why is this ticked, but this isn't? What's going on with that? Why? Nothing here. Exit? Can I exit? Oh. Oh, was this literally the last of my... Oh. Oh, okay. I'm with you now. 
And the hood matches the- Ah, okay, it was just as simple as going to the back door, I was being silly. I'm still so annoyed. I mean, the fact that I set- I'm pretty sure- I didn't get a trophy or anything, but I'm pretty sure the fact that I set a new record for that game. Or did I? Or was it the same? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did. But the fact that I had to- I was forced to Google it? Lame. Or was it obvious? I mean, the hot dog thing... For a, a, a pin for your phone? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just- to me, that just felt really stupid. But here we are. We are outside. What's the next thing on the list? What is this? Uh, my superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. Well, there's a snowman there. Oh. Uh, oh, creepy tree. Okay. Oh my god. The lake demon is rising. It does. You know what? Yeah, I see it. I see it. The arms and the shit, and the, the, that's a mouth. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that a lot. It's very cool. This is Snowmancer, I presume. He isn't bleeding. He's just like fucking. I can't fight Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. Why? Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used uh... to be a good enemy. Look at you now. <laughs> How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? Nice, nice. Okay, wipe a blade arm, cool. Dad's crushed up beer can. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, I see. Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. Do I do the power zooming in thing? Oh, I can. Oh, blow up. Okay. Okay. This is pretty cool. Oh, wait. Holding the controller just in case it requires me to do a quick time event kind of thing. I was putting it down, getting ready for the show, but then I thought, but... <laughs> I feel like it's just teasing us at this point, thinking that we're gonna be like... Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. You know, the cigarettes in the head, I just noticed it. <laughs> I feel like they're teasing us with like, you know, making us think that it's just his imagination and shit, when actually it's building up to him actually having powers and shit, and it's just gonna be a, yeah. Dad won't fix this one because it's too dangerous to fix. More like he's too drunk and lazy and won't get off his fucking ass. I can make Captain Spirit costume now, maybe I can find what I need around. So, am I missing something? Actually, he did say about paint, didn't he? So maybe, did he say about paint? Or did I imagine that? Uh, my superhero team is strong. Let's go have a look around for paint. There has to be something around here. Where would it be? This secret key to unlock the door to another dimension? We need not bother now, because he's got powers. <laughs> Did he just stand on the, uh, on the button to open it? These boxes been here forever. Did he just legit open that? Every single time, he's just, he just kind of fools me a little bit, you know? Okay, so we have the keys and then, wait, wait, so what, why is it telling me to do it again? Power drive? Inspect. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. BCSS Beaver Creek Social Services. Oh my god. Yeah, man, this is fucked. Dear Mr. Erickson, this is Dr. Tam Tamra Fullman from of Beaver Creek Social Services. As a representative of the county's elementary school districts, we would appreciate if you could arrange 
to come in with, with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon at 2.15 p.m. at our local office at 2775 Water Street. If you have any questions, please call our office at 555-687-2006. Hmm. I just have a horrible feeling, you know what I mean? Let's just power drive. What is this? I can't go to... I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. This, but wow, but where, but where, where, but where? Finish how, where? What do you mean? Oh, hello, what's this, what's this? Hmm, looks like we had a visitor. We did. Could it be the enemy of our enemy? I ain't seeing nothing anywhere. Oh, hello. What's this? Da -na 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 -da -da -da. Maze of Doom. Captain Spirit heard about the secret treasure inside. The secret treasure inside. Uh oh. I like it that they're adding elements of the kids' imagination. You know what I mean? It's just, it's pretty cool. Captain Spirit, you got this. You got this, man. Go left or go right. Mm, okay, for the first time in ages, we're gonna do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Something I used to do back in my older days. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, we go right. I guess. Or maybe we're gonna go left anyways at some point. I feel like this is such a scare. Oh, this is a maze. Let's just go left. I can't be doing eeny meeny every single time. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. But this kind of gives me a scarecrow from Batman Arkham Asylum vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the green gas. Go right. It just looks the same. It just looks the same. Oh, left. Left. Oh, hello. I just, I was just winging it this whole time. There's no actual... Straight back out again. Oh, okay. Ah. Was I supposed, is, is this what we're gonna get to modify the costume? Is, is the treasure? Is this what this is? I forgive you, mother. I can hear you. And I love to be near you. But every road leads to an end. Yes, every road leads to an end. Your apparition passes through me in the willows and five red hands. You'll never see us again. See us again. Pretty. I miss mom's smile. Target practice with the cans. Ugh, I hate that beer can smell. Yeah, it's pretty gross actually. Don't lock yourself out though, because we don't want you getting sick, my dude. Oh! I don't know if it's because my brain is maybe lacking, or if it was quite easy to overlook. 
but there's a lot of things that are quite easy to overlook in this game, and it's it's getting to me slowly. But anyways, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna power through because who 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 else could do it other than Captain Spirit? We had to do it in the name of Captain Spirit. I don't know if what I just said made sense. Huh? Is that a raccoon? What made that noise? That's a raccoon, right? Oh my god, that's a raccoon. Can we keep it? Can we keep the raccoon? Where is the, the raccoon? It, it is around here somewhere. Binder, what is this? Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Oh, neighborhood watch, the jock and the artist, Emily Wyatt and Charles Erickson, Eugene State College, 2005. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's neighborhood watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist who's witty. Oh, that explains why you're so into comic books and shit. Uh, witty work about her strange life. That was almost uh, Life is Strange, the way you worded it, you know what I mean? Has been featured in print and the web. It's like that thing in Family Guy, it's like, Oh, he said the thing, he said the thing! It was almost the same thing. Uh, in the pages of this paper, she hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy, blushing Charles, clearly a man in love which are actually the same thing from opposite sides. <laughs> Adds Emily with a warm smile, uh, taking her new fi fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Maybe. Actually, no maybe about it. Probably, actually. Probably. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Oh. As principal of Blackwell Academy, hello, what? Uh, dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious... Oh, this is actually Ray Wells, holy shit. Uh, prestigious school, we love displaying your work along with a long list of... Oh my god, dude, that's so fucking cool, Mom man. didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Dear Emily, we received your letter and withdraw of resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on, the for on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we're also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. D. Jennings. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that. And Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night, good night, handsome. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> yeah, it's the fruits. I don't get this one. I'm too young. Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you're too young for that one, man. Um, what am I looking- aha! Uh -huh. Oh, the spray Now paint. I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Oh, so we were genuinely going for the whole... Look. What are you spray painting? This is cool. Very cool. What's up, brother? Very cool. Do it again. All right, we're g oh, look yes, at the cake. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. And it's time to Very visit cool. Mantroid's home planet for a change. Combination lock. Um, shit. Was it maybe something in the letter or some shit? I don't know. 
but what would the combination be? <gasps> Let's just try 2005. I don't want to be... Yes! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I just kind of... I just kind of looked at what... It was the only date that stood out among the shit that I was reading. <laughs> whatever, man. I don't care. Alright, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. It was a hit and run. Local woman killed in hit and run. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16th, 2014. So this is a year after the events of Life is Strange 1, I think. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm going by the timeline and it's correct. At 7.15pm Tuesday night on Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive. Asteroid Drive? What? The victim identified as Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking home, walking from her stranded car, and was when she was struck head-on by an unidentified speeding vehicle. She is survived... She is survived by her husband and son. She is survived? That's a weird... That sounds weird. Who were not on the scene at the time, Captain Anderson said... I thought he was going to say Captain Spirit. Captain Anderson says the toll cameras may hold important clues. We're treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Anybody with information regarding the incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police hotline at 555 Capture. Okay. I know Dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. Oh. In loving memory of Emily Erickson. Emily Erickson, 28, beloved wife, mother, and daughter, departed our world far too soon on December 16th, 2014 in Beaver Creek, Oregon. Uh, Emily was born in Eugene, Oregon on January 25th, 1986 to Peter and Kristen Wyatt, a passionate artist since kindergarten. Uh, she was near the top of her class at Eugene High School, winning various local art competitions and a prized scholarship to the prestigious Blackwell Academy in Arcadia Bay, Oregon. After graduation, she spent back she went sorry went back to Eugene and married her college sweetheart Charles Erickson on May first, two thousand six. See, that would have been a more significant. Oh, actually, two thousand five might have been when they met. I can't remember. Emily and Charles moved to Beaver Creek, Oregon in 2007, where she later began a rewarding career teaching kindergarten and inspiring young people in the arts. Emily and Charles were also blessed with a wonderful son, Chris, born on February 8, 2007. Emily's honest and humorous online comic strips about her family life brought her humble recognition. She is survived by her husband Charles, their son Chris, and her parents Peter and Kirsten. Funeral services are are planned for 12 p.m. December 20th at Eugene Willow Hill Cemetery Cemetery with a reception to follow. Friends and family are welcome and encouraged to pay their last respects. Ah, what a shame. Grandparents' letters. Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Were as in past tense? Are they not here anymore? Because I'm uh, assuming, judging by the other letter, they might still be here. Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely note and flowers for uh, Kirsten Kristen's birthday. Uh, they always mean more coming from you. We miss you and would love to see how Chris is growing. Uh, uh, like you, we all still miss Emily every day, every hour and minute. We know that grief is a part of your life, so always know that we think of you often. We're always here for you like you were there for us, forever. Please stay in touch and let's make plans to meet soon. Your family and always in our hearts and prayers. Love, Peter. <sighs> That's tough, man. That's very tough. That's very, very difficult. We're also obviously going to take... Thanks for storing my explosives, Chief. <laughs> Chief? Wow. Yeah, take it, man. Fuck it. At this now point, I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. Yeah, not sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't ever be sorry to him, okay? I'm probably being too harsh, but also not really. Actually, no, I'm not being too harsh. Fuck that. Fuck that. Uh, turn off, I guess. And let's leave. Oh, the firecracker. Oh. Snowmancer, you are... 
As good as dead, my friend. As good as dead. Holy shit. Now the Snowmancer is ready for battle. Oh man, this is gonna be sick. Fuck yeah, man. Right in his face, yeah, that's it. Right in his now face. Now you are ready to battle with Captain Spirit. Run, kid. Kid, run. Why were you sniffing it? Cool. Very cool. Yes! So cool. Yeah, that's what I said. Snowmancer almost froze the whole city. So, Snowmancer, next up. Hmm, I could practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. Until Captain Spirit melted him. For yeah, now. You can. Wait a minute. What was this? Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. What does that say? Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. Why no? Okay. I thought it said WWO. I was like, what? Why no? Okay. Oh dear. Okay, so uh, if we if we're gonna do target practice, we might as well just get the beer cans, right? Yeah, set up range. That's it. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. So are we gonna use snowballs, or are we getting one of those cool Nerf guns in your in your in your room? What are we What are we dealing with here? The only goods that can come from the dad drinking so excessively is is this. And even then, it's not really worth it, is it? <laughs> Sorry to be a... Oh, we're using snowballs. Makes sense. Oh, 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 okay, 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 yep. Yes. Yeah, look at that, man. Dope. I wonder if you could have got a trophy for getting them all at once. Maybe, I guess we'll never know. Yeah. Are you fucking with me? Just the one left. <sighs> Damn it, I would have had them all down at once. That's just me being a perfectionist, right? Gah. Nice miss, loser. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself, man. Captain Spirit is just practicing at uh, yes. the yeah, look at that. Boom! Blam! Psycho that. Yeah. And with an encouraging message to recycle too. I like this guy. He's got potential and he's responsible. We haven't actually but we can't climb up of it because you can't climb up of it. We can't climb up it because the swing, the swing is broken. Can we climb a tree? Oh, <sighs> I'm just going to assume that I am just very easily overlooking shit today because you know there's uh, maybe I don't know. Behold the flying fortress. Oh, so it's the pirate guy, right? I see. The Sky Pirate. Okay. Here's me th Oh, of course. Here's me thinking, like, oh, how can he climb up the, the fucking... <laughs> how can he climb up the rope when it's broken? Of course he can't, you idiot. Okay, alright, so there's there's a couple toys here. Okay. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. Yeah, but I'm assuming we don't play with... Him, sit, uh, doll. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? Exactly. Ice queen. Exactly. So what? Just let him play with the fucking. T ah, here we go. Sky pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Good work, buddy. He just punched the shit out of him. Hey, we did. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm with you now. Okay. That's cool. What is this? I can't let dad find my secret stash. Ever. Secret stash of what? 
Secret stash of what? Don't blur on me now, okay? Open sesame. Nice. But open stash of what? Ooh, baseball cards. Okay. These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. So, um... In England, we didn't really have baseball cards because we don't really have baseball technically, but... Uh, we had, like, obviously we had wrestling cards, and then we had, uh, football stickers, which you'd, you'd get, like, an album, and you'd, like, I collected those for a while, and then you'd put the stickers in and shit. Never had the cards, though, but, yeah, man, that's just, um, that's just something that we had, which is pretty cool. School letters. Oh, secret stash. Harry okay. did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. Here we go. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son, Chris, got into a small fight with my son, Harry Sorber, and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child. Oh, fuck off already. Just immediately fuck off. Just... Fucking idiot. As you might know, Harry is an honor student. Oh, he's an honor student, and he's just decorated, and he's the smartest in his class. Suck my dick! Fucking ass. As you might know, Harry is a blah, 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 who gives a fuck? Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I'll be forced to speak to his school. Sincerely, Brett Sorber. Brett? There's another Brett? Anybody with the name Brett is just sincerely a fucking asshole. I'm trying to sort the fucking... Uh, you fucking bitch. God damn it. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. I mean... It's not the worst I've ever seen, so... No, completely fine. What is this? Decoder. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, actually, is that tracing paper? Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Yeah, oh, it's a transparent sheet, of course. But of course. Nice. Uh, look. Comic strips. I loved watching Mom draw her comics. What are you cooking for... What are you cooking me, sweet? What are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish, pizza. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. Oh, he ordered it as a takeaway. I see. I get you. I'm with you now. Cool. Is that pretty much it? Let's do the look. Whoa. Let's do the lookout thing real quick, because that's something that we have to do in any Life is Strange styled game. You know what I mean? Just take a quick moment to uh, take it all in. Cute in a monologue? No? No internal monologue or dialogue? Amethyst and flowers on the table Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose A friend is a friend And we all know How this will end Chimney Swift that finds me Be my keeper Silhouette of a sea eater What is that song You sing for the dead What is that song You sing for the dead I see the signal searchlight Strike me In the window And of my room Well I got nothing to prove I got nothing to prove. The moment where he was, um, he was looking up at the sky just kind of reminded me of times where I would do that as a kid. And but specifically through those trees was almost, uh, how do I get out? It was almost exactly like how, um, how I used to just sit specifically below trees and just watch everything through the trees and just imagine like little tiny people just running across jumping from branch to branch and shit and yeah I don't know I just it's just that reminded me of, of that I thought that was kind of cool you know so we've done everything the only thing we need to do now is with my full costume I could use my spaceship and find him 
by using the spaceship do we mean taking the car? There's no fucking way we mean that, surely. Surely not. We're not about to do this, are we? I mean, we do have... Oh, shit. We're about to take the car. Okay. I hope this doesn't end. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, come no. Here I Metroid. Come on, let's get going. Oh, is this it just going to be pretend? Spirit. Okay, that's you good. Copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Escape pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything <laughs> Windshield straight. wipers, Start check. What's that ahead? Oh no! Meteor shower! Turn on the force field! Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! Man, that escalated quick, right? God fucking damn it. Please don't do this to be allowed. I it. wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! I'm missing all the cool bits because of the fucking zoom, but this is just how we're gonna do it from now on, I guess. The planet is so dark. Itchy. And the sky is so red. Like blood. No Whoa. wonder man Troy lives here. Yo, that's so cool, man. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. Yo. Okay. I think I managed What's to fix sound? it. I don't know what's what's going on with my camera, Something but Something is coming. Or somebody. Oh man, it's gonna be his dad, isn't it? Come to my planet. Man Troid, show yourself, you coward! But also, like, on a side note, I know that the developers of Life is Strange have, like, a new game on the horizon anyways, which looks different to what they've released already. But it's cool to see them experiment with, like, stuff like this. It kind of gives you an idea of what they're capable of, I guess, and... Maybe it's all. Oh, whoa, whoa, this time, whoa! You won't get away from me. Put some respect on the name, buddy. Before I put the chrome to your dome, waste man. Fight me instead of hiding. <laughs> he was just like, fight me, IRL. He just doesn't give a fuck. I like this kid. He's cool, man. We're just, we're really, there's no sprint. We're really just taking our time here. Oh. To switch camera shoulder, I see. Okay. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? Oh, please don't let him get carried away. And then something hits him like a car or something and he gets killed. That would just be the fucking worst. Why 
face is so blurry. This is so annoying. No, I can't let you live. Button bashing. We're button bashing. I'm panicking. The camera's dying at the worst stage. Well, it's not dying, but it's blurring, and it's really annoying. We got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, Mantle Street. An asteroid. Mantroid. I get you. Loki, one of my favorite things to do as a kid was to pretend that I had died or pretend that I got shot and then just lay on the ground for ages. You will pay for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. So, we did everything. So, now what? We go back inside? But no. Somebody said they were gonna get us a tree, and somebody fucking fell asleep, didn't they, drunkard? We've literally done everything, okay, so should we just wake that up? Dad, you, you sleeping? Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. <sighs> Dad! <sighs> Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Fuck! Uh, that's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? You, you told me to wake you up. I thought... I thought you said the pine tree. Pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family, right? Right. Grandma? Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. Or and child how are you doing, Chris? Services? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Reynolds. Just 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 Just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? We didn't hear. Dad just fell decorating the tree. Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? 
Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud, and there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. He kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Buy a pine tree? Oh, yeah. Me and my dad are going to go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Maybe too good. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you wanted to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. Up. But You're I just just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I'm telling you, you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! I see. <sighs> to be continued. I'm assuming that's just in Life is Strange 2. I got really excited then I was like, how? How is it gonna continue? I know how it continues, okay. So anybody who played this game 
before Life is Strange 2 would have been really confused by that ending. Just like, oh, Chris has superpowers! Who the fuck are these two? It makes sense now why you're supposed to play this before Chapter 2, because at least now you, you know... Have I played Chapter 2? No, I haven't played Chapter 2. Have I? No, I ain't. No. No, I ain't. No, yeah, I haven't. I haven't. I don't, for a second, I was like, wait, have I played Chapter 2? No, I haven't. <laughs> what the fuck am I... Anyways. That was, that was cool. That was very cool. Um, I liked how we were dipping so, so much into, like, the imagination side of, of Chris as, as a, like, as a kid. And, um just how different the perspective is when you have imagination like a kid. It's, it's very cool and very relatable, for me at least, and I'm sure for a lot of people who sort of used to do things like that as a kid and used to, like, just have a lot of fun with their imagination, you know, as, as kids should. Um, but the... Uh, Again, it's it's. I keep forgetting. You know, the, the, Life is Strange will show you so much wholesomeness, and or at least games like Life is Strange will show you so much wholesome and nice things, and then will very, very, very quickly remind you what kind of game it is. And you know, the the whole uh, alcoholic dad with the anger issues and. And the, um, you know, the child services getting involved and stuff. That's tough, man. That's, that's so tough. Yeah, that's very tough. Also, was the guy who was, uh, did the voice acting for Eric, was he the same guy who voiced Frank? Because I could hear elements of Frank in that voice, but... I might be mistaken. But overall, this was very cool. I, I like this a lot. This was very cool. Um, a nice little spin-off game. And... No, I see now what... Uh, I see now why it ties in, because at the end of the first episode of Life is Strange 2, we're in the snowy... Yeah, that I remember... Uh, yeah, okay, I remember that now. We're in the snowy... Place. There's there's snow everywhere and stuff. So at some point we're gonna we're gonna meet Chris and maybe intervene. I don't know. Interesting. This is also this this song's this is cool, but we're gonna have to uh, skip. Okay, we did all these things. Continue. Cool. Meet Chris again in Life is Strange too. Nice. All right. That was that was cool. I like that. That was that was pretty fun. Um, like I said, I I didn't know what to expect, and I didn't know how it's coloured in now, a different colour, red. Cool. And I like how um, I'm assuming that you you could have obviously we ended up I ended up like uh, modifying my costume based off of what I drew, so I, I'd imagine that. You know, we might have made, like, a cardboard helmet or something, or we might have, uh, I don't know, I don't know. This is, we could have, we could have done anything. There was so much lying around that depending on what you, you drew would have been what you had, and, and color scheme-wise as well. Um, that was very cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how this was going to exactly tie in to what we already know with Life is Strange 2, but it's interesting to see that. I, I think this was just... This, I mean, I don't know what significance Chris is going to have in like the, the next chapter. Whether it is just they save him and intervene and, and that's what we see. And um, maybe we hang out with Chris or maybe we save Chris from Eric? I don't know. Or, no, his name's not Eric. It's Charles Erickson, I think. That's it, yeah. Um, who knows? I mean, I I'm excited to see just exactly how it's gonna go down, but this was, this was fun. And like I said, the, the bits where we're in space, although I was pretty distracted by my camera fucking up, um, 
the the parts where you're in 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 space and uh uh just this 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 game just on its own felt different to life is strange so it's it's i guess it's kind of a i always feel like spin-off games like this are a way for them to obviously do their own thing creatively and add a little bit extra to to you know games and stuff that we already love and enjoy but to also maybe try out new things and and sort of see what they're capable of because we know for certain that if they had a space styled game it would be sick because that looked awesome or at least that's what i think i don't know what anybody else thinks but anyways this has been the awesome adventures of captain spirit thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will see you in life is strange too until next time madhouse <laughs> <laughs>